Hi, my name is Joy Hudak, and I work at the Riverside Educational Center. We're a nonprofit after school program serving disadvantaged kids in our community. And our goal of programming is to help kids succeed academically by offering a variety of supports, uh, including enrichment activities and social emotional learning in a safe and supportive environment. A lot of the challenges behind COVID um, have required us to really look at how we are managing all of the protocol for COVID. So at all 10 of our sites, we have a lot of requirements set up for staff to make sure you know we're being safe in the space. Also with our kids, um, the requirements when they come in. So a lot of challenges around that. Our staff have really been thinking about that very thoroughly. Additionally, we were challenged with our where our admin offices are located at because it's in a D51 school building. Um, we have had to find other space to uh, operate out of because of the restrictions on the number of adults that can be in the school buildings. And the other big challenge we've had is a lot of our funding that we've gotten traditionally has been going more towards emergency services. So some of the grant opportunities that we applied to earlier this year, um, we received no's on because they are putting those resources more towards emergency emergency services to families. So while I do definitely support that, it has made it challenging within our organization to operate at the level we need to. So I think RAC is really doing a good job reacting to what we need to within COVID. So we have a lot of really smart staff that have really stepped up our game as far as um, the safety protocol behind COVID. Additionally, we had a very generous donor that's offering us space for our admin offices and for us to operate out of so that we are able to meet the needs of our programming. So that has been a huge benefit to us. And we have been seeking out every funding opportunity that we can to ensure that we are meeting the uh, financial needs of our program. Um, you know, lots of challenges there, but everyone is just working really hard. Our staff, our board of directors, and our families are very committed to what we're doing um, with programming. And so we are continuing to um, do what we can to ensure that we're able to meet the needs of our kids and families. So some of the additional resources that would benefit our programming um, this year is we have converted our 14 passenger buses into seven passenger buses and we had one bus that we had to retire for safety reasons. So we're down to seven buses operating out of 10 sites and our um, enrollment goal this year is over 500 students. So we do know we need additional funding for buses. We did get one donor who will match. If we get the support on a bus, he'll match um, to to purchase a second bus. Um, each bus cost about $25,000. And the other thing is we had um, space donated for us for our admin offices to operate out of um, as a requirement of COVID. And we do need uh, none of the funds to, um, while the space is being donated for free, we still have to pay utilities and insurance and internet. And so none of that was originally um, in our organizational budget for the year. So any uh, additional funds we were able to reach uh, raised this year, we need to put towards those um, additional expenses.